It's week five of the National Football League, and today's clash of conferences is just moments away. It's the Titans and the Commanders, and it's coming up next. Just inside the Broadway, about 10 miles east of the Capitol Dome as we come to you from FedEx Field here in Landover. Today we've got a good Week 5 matchup in store here between the Tennessee Titans and the Washington Commanders. Brandon Gordon and Charles Davis on hand, and CD, you look at Washington coming into play here, and this is going to be a heck of a chess match. This offense against a defense that will take no prisoners out there. It's going to be a big-time battle, and I think that both of these teams have that mindset of, we're going to do what we do and make the other guys react to us. And we've definitely got a couple of headstrong coordinators who won't back down from a challenge. So this will be a battle of wits as much as it'll be a battle of brawl. The first quarter of the season already in the rearview mirror, and off we go in week five on EA Sports. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And they will ring them down a couple yards shy of the 30. Commanders trot to the field for their first possession, and it's the seventh-year quarterback out of North Dakota State leading the way. His third NFL team, Carson Wentz. And the numbers were not pretty. I mean, they don't look right. When you throw two interceptions, no touchdown passes, there's no way to really make that work. But I thought there were a lot of positives in watching his game tape. I think he's close to putting out a good performance. Let's see if he can flip those numbers around in this game. And, of course, rally his team to a win. They run with the Alabama rookie. That's Brian Robinson. They're able to break through that initial contact and winds up getting about three there. It's second down. Second down and a run by Robinson. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. Three yards on the pickup. That's going to set up an interesting third and about four to go. Now Wentz. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. That could have been a huge play, but give the defender credit. Stayed calm, stayed collected, and kept himself in a position to make a play on the ball without a penalty. And now the putter, Tress Way, as he sends this one away. This is taken at about the 14. A good kick, 49 yards, just three on the return. And it'll be Titan football. Here come the Titans for their first possession on offense and leading them out in his fourth season with the team, 10th overall in the NFL, Ryan Tannehill. There were a few eyebrows raised when Tennessee took Malik Willis in the third round this year, but rest assured, Ryan Tannehill is still the man in Tennessee after leading the Titans to the top seed in the AFC last season. His 12 wins were the most he's posted in nine seasons as an NFL starter. And he's only the third quarterback to lead the Titans to three playoff appearances in the NFL, joining Steve McNair and Warren Moon. Tannehill's throw into the hands of Hooper. Call it a gain of six on the play, and it's second down. Now it's Tannehill. Oh, he rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked up by Bobby McCain, and he will bring this one back. It is a pick six for a Washington touchdown. So Charles, our first points of the game provided defensively. What a play that was. And I can only imagine that the folks at home watching are thinking to themselves, that's one of those plays where once the ball leaves the quarterback's hands, you just sort of go, uh-oh, and wait for the result. This time, the defense benefited. Joey Sly on for the extra point. And the kick is good, and the Commanders out to a 7-0 lead. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. 
The Titans coming back onto the field for their second drive. Well, partner, fast forward with me for a second. Remember, next week they have the open week, so they're going to get some extended rest. Does that change how they manage the rest of this one? I think it does a little bit, but not by too much, because you're right. You get the extra rest, you get a chance to heal up and kind of heal, do a little bit of a reset for this team. But it's also seven extra days to think back to the last time you were on the field. So now, a little more importance on what they're getting done because they carry it with them for essentially two weeks. On first down, Tannehill. And the Washington pressure gets to him, and he will go down. Cole Holcomb proving too much there for the offensive line. He gets the sack. Work to be done here on second and 16 after the sack. Tannehill. His throw incomplete. Well, anytime he reads man coverage, I don't think it's going to be the only time he'll try and hit that route to the outside in this game. He'll test the perimeter, but that time, they were up to the challenge. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Under pressure, and he's going to go down. Tannehill sacked. That's Deron Payne with a sack that time. Third and long defense with no fear, they brought the pressure. Zero fear at all. That means they feel really good about the guys who are going to cover. But the biggest one is they think the pressure will get there before he has a chance to find an open receiver. Second quarter now. Titans in possession of the football. They only punted twice in the win last week as he gets this one away. This is taken at the 18. One more block as it stands. 37-yard return. And Washington will have a short field here as they take over first and 10. Wentz now to throw. That's complete. Terry McLaurin with it. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line. Just shy of the 20. Throwing on first is Wentz. Being and he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Well, they're in some hot water now after that sack. It's second and 21. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And oh, that would get a wide up incomplete. Nearly an interception in the end zone. Probably should have been. Third down coming up. On third and long, it's Wentz. This to McLaurin out on the left side. The Titans going to use the first of their timeouts. So as they take it over, we step aside. Sly able to put this one through. And that will extend their lead even further. So that one on target, and it adds to this first half lead. And maybe we're too early to worry too much about one score lead, two score lead, etc. But this is where you kind of start banking those points that come in helpful later on. Washington kick team back out there now as they will send this one away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. And here comes Tennessee as they get set to take the field. Nothing for him yet from an offensive standpoint. Down 10 zip as they come up first and 10. Meanwhile, Tannehill's throw is on target to Burks. Down he goes at the 23, a pickup of four. Pressure comes and down he goes. And go to the Bucks is a seven yard loss on the sack, and it's third down. The NFL's leading rusher in 2019 and 2020, Derrick Henry. And he'll take this up only to about his 18-yard line. Just a one-yard gain on the play, and that'll mean a call to the punt team as it's fourth down. Uh, fourth down, Ryan Stonehouse on to punt. This is fielded at the 27. A great return there of 22 yards. And control of the football, switching hands with very little time remaining until the half. Out there, set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. Wentz now on first down. 
And oh, a dangerous throw there. Nearly intercepted on the sideline, but it's incomplete. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. Tough series for the passing game. Things just aren't clicking. Hoping they come through on this play and get this series back on track with a completion for enough yardage for a first down. A final shot before half for Wentz. And he will not be able to hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. Well, we'll move right through the break then, skipping halftime and back to the field for the start of the second half. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth, ready for quarter number three. The Titans going to get the ball to start the second half, and they trail here as we get back to it on EA Sports. Phillips, he's not going to bring this one out, so they will begin the drive at the 25. The Titans getting set to go here to begin the third quarter. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively, virtually nothing in the ground attack either, so certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well. They've kept them around in this game. Now they got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. Third and long, it's Tannehill. This is caught. It's Woods. He'll get 17 back there, but it'll still lead to a fourth down. Here's Ryan Stonehouse now as he's on to punt for Tennessee. That's taken on the 25. We'll call that a 41-yard punt. The net a little greater, though, following a loss on the return. And it will be Washington football now with a first and 10. On play action, wins. And this nearly an interception, but it's incomplete. A turnover really would have helped him there, but not to be. On play action, it's Wentz. Oh, and this is going to wind up a safety. So maybe the defense will have to kickstart the offense here. The first points of the game comes from that defensive unit. Yeah, sometimes you get together and you say, hey, maybe it's on us today. We have to go out and force the issue and make a play and get everyone else going. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. And here we are almost through three quarters of play, and this passing game still has not really found any kind of rhythm. Put it mildly, because they're not even over 100 yards yet. And in today's NFL, where it's a pass-first league, that is quite surprising. Not many teams patient enough to stick with the run. Everybody wants to advance the ball through the air. They've got to get their timing back. A well, second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. Well, so far on this drive, they've done some good work. They force incompletions on first and second down, bring up third and ten. That brings up the big question. Do they bring pressure, or do they play coverage on this down? And he cannot avoid the pressure as the Washington pass rush gets home. No surprise there. Chase Young wrecks that play with a sack. Now on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. It's a 40-yard punt, but they lose yardage on the return. And the Commanders will take over with a first and 10. So here is Washington now to take over. They lost last week. Actually, not only did they lose, they were shut out, but they've got the lead here right now. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. In the third quarter here in D.C., a second and ten upcoming. And 
this will be well too low for him to bring in. It's incomplete. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. They fake the give. Now wins. I don't know what was going on there, but the end result, this is going to be a safety. Well, Charles, I've heard of backing up to avoid the rush. I think this takes that to a whole new level. And not upper level either. <laughs> After the safety, remember, they also need to give up the football, and here's the free kick. This is brought in at the 21. The Titans' offense set to begin the drive. Thanks to their defense for getting him two points closer. Now the question, what can this unit come up with offensively as they begin here following the... Oh, that's in a double coverage and intercepted. Picked by Kendall Fuller. And the Titans are going to get the football back as time will run out in this third quarter of play. So the holding call on the offense. So they go ahead and decline that one to take possession of the football on the INT. So we'll get the penalty all sorted out when we get back. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Now a play fake. Wentz. The 20. And he's brought down inside the 20 at the 18-yard line. And the offense moving quickly to the line. Play action. Now Wentz. And yet again, it's McLaurin. And the commanders are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them all the way down to the one. The time is called. Looks like a member of the Titans in some discomfort out there. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. Robinson will score. Touchdown, Commanders. Everybody in the stadium knew what they were going to do right there, CD. Three tight ends on the field, all that extra bulk, and they run it in. And you saw where that one went, right? You run it over your best blocker. I can just see the head coach right now. I want to run this one over the big boy. And they got it done. And this one's caught. And their fourth quarter lead grows by a couple more. And around the goal line, especially on two-point drives, sometimes the QB's best friend is that big target the tight end. I love how you described it because you know he's going to have some length and some catch radius as well as a big body to keep people away from the football. Taken at the goal line. And a nice job there on special teams to limit him to inside the 15 as he's dropped at the 14. So now Tannehill and the Titans down by two touchdowns. Two minutes, 30 seconds to play. It's been a struggle to score all day, and now they need to do it twice here late to have a chance. After the incomplete pass here now is second and 10. Here's Tannehill. And oh, he coughs up the football near his own goal line. to get that football back because trailing here in the second half last thing they needed was to lose the possession and the word I think of here is opportunity because it could have been lost there their chance to score points but the opportunity for the defense was to go ahead and really close this game down if they were able to get possession got his man it's Woods finding space at the 40 and they worked this well up field across the 45 first down now but the clock continues to move Steps away to his left. And this is intercepted. And that should do it. And the Commanders are going to take over a couple of yards shy of midfield. For this defense, CD, that's kind of the icing on the cake here as we get to the end of this one. And didn't you feel that they weren't just going into total prevent there? You know, they had the lead, and sometimes you fall back and you lose your aggressiveness. Not in this case. They were still making a play on the football. And look how that one turned out. They may have salted this one away. Back to Robinson now on first down. To about the 26 here. Now Tennessee going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Robinson with another carry. 
And we get a stoppage because, as you can see, a member of the commanders in some obvious discomfort in search of four yards here to pick up the first down. On third down, Robinson. And he's brought down short. Two yards there, needed four. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with a minute six left to go in the game. Wentz going to go on fourth down. Now he's got it. Touchdown, Washington. Terry McLaurin, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Commanders look like they're going to get back in the win column as they extend their lead here in this fourth quarter. Sly on for the extra point. And the lead now to three touchdowns and 21 points. The drive summary that time, five plays. And it's finished off by a Terry McLaurin touchdown. Kick team out there for the Commanders as they send this one away. This taken in at the goal line. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. Here's Tennessee ready to begin this drive offensively. And just looking ahead, it would appear that that bye week is coming at the right time. They'll have two weeks to chew on this one. They'll probably not one that they want to chew on. A poor performance from start to finish. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. To throw is Tannehill. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. From the gun, here's Tannehill. And he's caught on the sideline, but he's not going to have a first down. They say he was out of bounds. So a big call there that brings up fourth. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. there but also a nice return of 12 yards and they will take over first and 10. The commander's offense set to take over but they've got to be feeling very comfortable and confident here with this lead in the football here in the fourth quarter Charles and I don't think that they need to score again but it seems like this offense is just getting better as the game goes on. They've scored on their last two drives. It certainly feels like a chance for them to continue to have some fun out there doesn't it? Game's already decided as you noted. So they can continue to play loose, break out some other concepts, maybe run a few trick plays, get other people involved. Heck, even go deep on one of these first snaps just because they can. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. So a victory here for the Commanders. And we talked so much about the turnover battle determining who wins and who loses. This game, no exception. They didn't turn the ball over at all. And they go on to victory. They look like a smooth operation in this one, didn't they? Because you look at every facet of the game, they handled their business. Offense took care of the football, converted it into points. Defense took the ball away, gave it back to the offense. Special teams right there with them. That's the type of game a coach is going to really love and value. And when they show the film, they have to be careful not to give out too many kudos and kill their motivation going forward. So for Washington, they move back over 500 at 3 and 2 now on the year. And they'll hit the road next week to take on the Chicago Bears. Meanwhile, for the Titans, they'll fall to 1 and 4 with a loss. And perhaps fortunately for them, they'll get an early bye next week and come back to action in week 7.